three reasons I never, ever, ever sell my silver. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. Okay, I'm gonna give you my three reasons I never, ever, ever sell my silver. Okay, maybe occasionally I do, but I'm gonna get to that in a bit. This video was prompted by the response to my <laughs> most hated video ever. The, uh, you know, the I'm done with silver video. I got more offers on YouTube, uh, through uh, DMs on Instagram, from emails, to buy my silver. I mean, they were saying, Yankee, since you hate silver so much, how about I take it off your hands for you? <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. But not because of current silver prices or, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm playing the gold to silver ratio or whatever. No. I'm never, ever, ever going to sell my silver because, well, reason number one, it's still not an investment to me. Now, I know that blows a lot of people's minds when I say that, but again, hear me out. Physical gold and silver is not an investment, not in the traditional sense of the word. It's uh, not. <laughs> it won't cash flow. It, uh, it doesn't really yield you money, at least not on a regular basis. And there's no dividend. No, it, it's not a traditional investment. Physical silver and gold, that is. But it's insurance. Insurance, okay? Insurance against exactly what our government and central banks are doing right now. Now, I know this is going to trigger a few of you, and, and feel free to vent in the comments below. Just, just do it in a respectful manner, please. And I'm not talking about silver or gold mining stocks. That actually can act as a very speculative part of your investment portfolio, as it does mine now. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about flipping your precious metals for a profit, either now or in a long time. Now, for those of you new to my channel, and I've been getting new people like crazy recently, I break stacking down into three main groups. Okay, maybe you're going to have five or ten. I just like the number three because it's really easy for me to remember. The first group is the collector stacker. The second is the flipper stacker. And the third is the prepper stacker. That is the camp um, 80 to 90% in. And by the way, if you're stacking as a way to uh, prepare for retirement, <laughs> whether that's even a thing in a few decades, <laughs> you are a blend of a prepper stacker and a flipper stacker, at least in my book you are. Now, I'm not gonna do much more than just show you my graphs on these types of stackers. But I'll include my playlist, Stacking the Yankee Way, at the end of the video. Highly recommend you watch it if you haven't already. Why? Well, if you don't know what kind of stacker you are, especially as a beginner, you're, you're going to tend to flop around like a fish out of water, buying stuff that you'll end up having some buyer's remorse over. And yes, we all make mistakes. But, but if you know what you are stacking and why, you're stacking it before you start your stacking journey, it's going to help keep you from making avoidable mistakes. Now, I know, I'm going to hear the classic. Silver is silver. Doesn't matter what you buy. As long as it's silver, Yankee. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, in fact, leave that in the comment right now. Get it over with. Just put, put silver is silver. In fact, you know what? Here, here, the tenth person to put silver is silver in the comments wins this Mercury dime. There, how's that? Okay, at a very basic level, you can't go wrong with stacking any kind of precious metal. But not all silver products are created equal. 
Case in point, that. <laughs> An MS-69 2001 Eagle. Yeah, it's, uh, it's beautiful. It's slabbed, NGC. Um, actually, it's a key date too, 2001. It's a little more expensive. And I'm going to be giving this away next month on an upcoming Coast to Coast show with my co-host, Silver Dragons. So you might want to uh, check that out. Get a chance to win this. But slabbed silver versus uh, raw silver. Here's a nice BU, 2012. Okay. <laughs> These are not equal purchases. Okay. They're not. And remember, this is your hard-earned money we're talking about. Hopefully, you want to be wise with your purchases. Okay, so anyway, all right. I did say that I'm uh, 80 to 90% in the prepper stacker camp because most people are a blend of those three types. And I, I say all that because on occasion, I do flip. I do sell some of my silver. I'm actually flipping uh, a few of the 2019 Tuvalu one ounce silver black flag Queen Anne's Revenge coins. You know, I've got several of them and I did buy them at a a really good price. So yeah, but not now. No. (laughs) Timing is everything when you're flipping. Uh, As a first in a series, that coin is potentially going to be worth more when other coins come out in the series. And I'm also waiting for silver prices to go up. So I'm not selling those now. But yeah, technically, yeah, I'm a little bit of a flipper stacker occasionally. However, with you know flipping or selling, people tend to think that it's really, really profitable. Or at some point, it will be highly profitable. <sighs> Maybe. You know, I know several in our community that do a really good job at flipping. And I respect them for that. But I defy most of you out there to pull in a consistent rate of return, a really good ROI, because some claim that they can make a lot of money flipping their silver, but many end up actually losing a lot of money in the process, at least when they do it for the long term. So be really careful with your goal of flipping and making a lot of money. I mean, I... (laughs) I personally have no desire to scale up my flipping in an attempt to make this a sustainable investment. It, it's, it's just too risky, folks. No. Mm-mm. But what this beautiful stuff is, is insurance. Or more specifically, inflation insurance. Those of you watching um, that have uh, term life insurance, you don't sell that, do you? Yeah, I know there's a whole whole life insurance thing. I get that. It, I think that's a lousy investment too, but no, no, no. Do you sell your term life insurance? No, no, of course not. Same thing with homeowner's insurance, health insurance, car insurance. You know, you don't see those as traditional investments, right? You don't sell those. Again, this right here is inflation insurance. And what our government and Federal Reserve thieves are doing right now, I can't imagine not having inflation insurance. I mean, come on. We're, we're talking potential hyperinflation. Prices are going to go up, folks. Up. Up at the grocery store. Uh, up at the furniture store. You know, brick and mortar. Online. It's not going to matter. Okay? And I predict... We're also going to see a change in how inflation is measured soon, namely with the Consumer Price Index, or CPI, just like the government did back in 1983 when they played with that stat in order to hide the effects of inflation. So that is my first reason. I am never, ever, ever selling this stuff. It's just not an investment. The second reason I'm never, ever, ever selling this stuff, mostly, (laughs) is because you pay capital gains on everything you sell for a profit. That's right. I mean, come on, you know that. The IRS is expecting their cut. And to be an honest stacker, 
You have to pay capital gains when you sell part or all of your stack. Well, I don't want to give the IRS a single penny. <laughs> so I avoid selling my silver and gold as a rule. And yeah, there, there is exceptions, I know, to the rule. But by and large, I don't sell it. My stack is what many people consider a perma-stack. Perma-stack. Now, I got this package recently in the mail from Novus Stacker. <laughs> Novus Stacker. <laughs> if you know him, you know he's a rather, um, how can I say it, um, unique member <laughs> of our YouTube stacking community. <laughs> And, and those of you who actually do know Novus, don't tell them about this video, please. <laughs> oh my goodness. In all seriousness, he really is a decent dude. <laughs> oh man, yeah, he's a good guy. And, and I'm not sure what's in here, okay? But I have a feeling whatever's in here is going to end up in my perma stack. Okay. Oh my. Okay. Whoa. All right. Huh. Is that oh, Sacagawea? He's up to something. Thank you. Yankee, you are just the man. Thank you for staying solid. And Silver, and for the support, oh, uh, always giving me Novus. All right. Yeah, Novus, you, <laughs> you're a good guy, man. Thank you for... Sending me this, whatever. Oh, yes, oh, yes, Buffalo, Buffalo round. You know what? I do remember there was an auction. I remember it was for charity. Um, uh, AU Rebel, was it for his widow and child? Yeah, yeah, this, oh, this is nice, man. Thank you for... <laughs> Thank you for actually uh, sending this to me. I, to be honest with you, dude, I just kind of just let this one go. But thank you. Wow. He did. No, this. thank you. So, yeah. Three more rounds. Very nice. That, uh, yeah, this will be in the perma stack. <laughs> I, I don't think I'll be flipping or selling that. Um, you know, a lot of people actually do divide their stack up. Uh, in a couple ways, the stuff that they want to sell and the stuff that they want to keep. Hmm. Yeah, that the stuff that they want to keep is usually called their perma stack. I keep mine. It's almost all perma stack to me. And a big reason is that I don't want to pay capital gains tax. Okay, that's number two. Number three, I never, ever, ever want to sell my silver because of my stacking end game. I recently asked in a poll on my channel what people thought the economic recovery would look like. Would it be V-shaped? Would it be U-shaped? Would it be L-shaped? Um, my vote, by the way, was L, <laughs> an L-shaped recovery, meaning I think it's going to be 10 years of stagflation, possible hyperinflation. We're in for it. I think we're going to learn a lot of hard lessons, folks, like debt doesn't equal prosperity. <laughs> Currency printing does, in fact, create inflation. That our dollar is not immutable. And that I believe I will live to see its death. <laughs> not that I want it to die, but I think it's going to. And I also think that um, the crisis that we're in is going to result in a cultural shift for our country uh, with regards to uh, universal basic income, modern monetary theory, a full embrace of socialism. So the end game for me with regards to my stack is that it can and potentially will be barter material after several months of an SHTF scenario. That's right, barter. So in a sense, I'm never, ever, ever selling any of this, but I sure will be exchanging some of this for goods and services one day. I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> I hope I'm wrong. But if you don't think it's even possible 
Not here, right? Not in America. Well, I believe you could be suffering from what's called normalcy bias. Google it. But Yankee, (laughs) you un-American doom and gloomer, what if you're wrong? Well, that's part of the end game too, everyone. If I'm wrong, if I'm hopefully wrong, it goes to my children. Yeah, that's right. If it doesn't happen, not in my lifetime, then it goes to my children because I know it's coming in their lifetime. And I love them way too much not to protect them. You know, I think I'm protecting Mrs. Yankee and my kids right now, but if we can go what, 30, 40, 50 years, you know, until we see our economy collapse, and I, and I just turned 44 just last week, then, then so be it, all right? I, I invest and I earn my money elsewhere. My children, my children may be the one who learns how to barter after I'm gone. Anyway, so... That's the final reason why I'm never, ever, ever selling my silver. And I'm sorry if I left you with a downer at the end of this video. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not an optimist, nor am I a pessimist. I'm a realist. And I'm just trying to keep it real here, guys. <laughs> and I do hope that you got a lot out of this video. Please, you know, like it, comment, subscribe, but maybe even share it with those who you know aren't woke yet so anyway stay safe out there and as always i hope your day is a-okay